Good day everyone. Today, I'm going to share with you one of the most important topics in illumination engineering. This is the lighting design calculation. It is because it is my industrial experience that good illumination ensures increase in production and reduces workers' accident. And that is why it is necessary to um, to design lighting scheme in such a way that good illumination is applied on a specific spaces. So illumination level on different spaces is different. So the science of illumination engineering is now of great importance. But before learning illumination engineering, it is also essential to learn and to know the nature of light and how light is being propagated or generated. Okay, so by definition, light can be defined as an electromagnetic radiation capable of affecting the sense of sight. So how does this light be propagated? Like electromagnetic waves, the light radiation propagates through a medium of, in a form of transverse wave. So transverse wave motion is one in which the medium vibrates up and down at right angles to the direction of propagation of the disturbance. Okay. So according to the theory of Max Planck that light energy is emitted in a form of bundles or packets called quanta or photons. And also according to the Bonner theory that light is has dual in nature. It is for example light propagated in the form of wave while it is absorbed in a form of packets of energy called Photons. Okay, so now we will be talking about illumination. So, what is really illumination? So, by definition, again, illumination is the effect of light as it strikes a surface. So, this is the result of striking a light into a surface. And also, it is the quotient of luminous flux to the given area of illuminated surface so we have these common terms used in illumination the first one is luminous flux it is the time rate flow of light and the unit for luminous flux is in lumen the next one is the candela or the candle power of a light source so it is the light rendering capacity of a source and one candela is equivalent to 4 pi lumens the next one is the solid angle it is the three-dimensional angle at the vertex of a cone measured by the area intercepted by the cone on a unit sphere whose center is at the vertex of a cone and measured in Stereogens. So we have the formula on how to solve this solid angle. So this is equivalent to the area of the intercepted cone on the sphere divided by the radius of the sphere squared. So for luminous efficiency, it is the lumens per watts output of the source of light. Luminous intensity. It is the candle power of a light source and the mean spherical candle power. This is the average candle power in all direction from the source of light. So the formula for the mean spherical candle power is equivalent to total flux in lumens divided by 4 pi. Okay. So we have also depreciation factor df so this factor is a factor in which the emitted light by the source decreases due to accumulation of dirt 
dust and smoke. Then coefficient of neutralization Cu. So this is a factor in which the light emitted by the source does not reach the surface being illuminated. Some of it fall upon the surface and some of it fall on ceilings, etc. Okay, so in illumination, we have to consider these two laws. So the first one, we have the inverse square law. So inverse square law states that the illumination of a surface is inversely proportional to the square of its distance from the source of light. And for the second law, we have the Lambert's cosine law. Lambert's cosine law states that the illumination of a surface varies directly as the cosine of the angle between the normal to the surface and the direction of incident light. So by combining these two laws, we can have this equation for illumination using point-by-point -point method of calculation. So the first one is considering horizontal illumination. So the illustration for horizontal illumination looks like this one. So you have the light source and this is the point to be illuminated. And this lies on a horizontal plane. This is the plane surface to be considered. So take note always that this illumination is always perpendicular to the plane considered. Take note of that always. And this is the incident light. Incident light. And this is the normal to the surface or normal to the plane. This line here is a normal to the plane. And the formula in solving for the illumination at this point is I divided by distance squared cosine of theta, where this E sub B is the intensity of illumination at point to be illuminated. Then I is candle power of light source. This candle power of light source is usually is constant of different types of light source. Then we have this D as the distance of the lamp from the point to be illuminated. And the theta is the angle between the incident ray and the normal line. This is the incident ray here and the normal to the surface. So the angle between them is theta. And take note that normal line is a line perpendicular to the surface considered. The next one is for vertical illumination. So the illustration of vertical illumination looks like this. The surface considered now is vertical. Okay. So the point to be illuminated is at this point. So considering that this is a light source and we are asked to solve for the illumination at this point. So remember what I've said um, Number one, that illumination is always perpendicular to the plane considered or to the surface considered. Take note of that always. So this is also, this is still the incident light and this line is the line normal to the plane. So the angle between them is theta. Okay, so the formula for illumination is still I divided by D squared times cosine of theta. So the third one is illumination normal to the light source. So the illustration looks like this one. So considering you have this light source and you are asked to solve what will be the illumination directly below this light source. So take note that the normal to the plane and the incident light is now parallel. So the angle between them is zero. Okay, so the illumination is equivalent to I divided by distance squared. Why? Where is now the cosine of theta? Since the angle between the incident light and the normal to the plane is now equivalent to 0, so cosine of 0 is 1. So that is why the formula is now I divided by D squared or the candle power of the light source divided by 
the distance squared. Okay? So, we have this table uh, as a guide for us to know what will be the units of elimination of a certain given unit for distance. So, like for example, we have this foot under elimination. Our distance should be in foot and candle power I is under lock. So, for locks, we have the distance meter and I candle also. Foot. So, the distance now is in centimeter and candle power is still candela. Okay? So, for us to understand the formula or for us to understand the theory about lighting calculation of a certain, for solving the illumination of a certain point, so we need this example. Okay? So, example number one. A piece of paper lies on a table two meters away from from a point directly below a bulb of 100 candela and is 4 meters above the table. Calculate the illumination on the center of the paper in lux. So we have this 100 candle power light bulb placed 4 meters above the table. And we have this paper placed 2 meters away directly below this 100 candle power lux. So how we do how we are going to solve this problem? So consider this illustration. So we have the 100 candle power light source and this light source is 4 meters above the table. So considering that this the plane of the table is here and we have the paper 2 meters away directly below the light source. So, how to solve this problem? Okay. First thing to do is to solve for the distance of the light source from the point of to be illuminated. So, we have this D. But since, since this is a right triangle, we can apply the principle of Pythagorean. So, D is equivalent to the square root of 2 squared plus 4 squared. And D is a square root of 20. The next is to solve for the angle between the incident light and the normal to the plane. Okay, so what trigonometric function we're going to use in here? Uh, okay, since the given is the opposite to the length of the opposite side and the length of the adjacent side, so we can use the tangent function. Okay, so tangent. So, solving for theta, we have diverse time or the arctangent of opposite over adjacent. So, we have arctangent of 2 divided by 4. Okay, solving for theta, we have 26.565 degrees. Now, we already have this distance and this angle. We can now substitute this to the formula. Candle power of the light source divided by d squared cosine of theta. Substituting the values, we have 100 divided by square root of 20 quantity squared cosine of 26.565. So finally, we have the illumination at this point equivalent to 4.47 lux. So we are using the unit of lux because our lens is in meters or our lens are in meters okay, let's try this another example okay two lamps a and b have being intensities of 30 candle power and 500 candle power respectively are situated 12 feet apart a screen is placed between them in order that the illumination on any sides are equal. How much is this illumination? So we have these two lamps and place 12 feet apart okay, on a horizontal plane. And in between these two lamps, a screen is put and or a screen is placed. And in order that the illumination on both sides 
for the illumination caused by this and caused by this on any sides are equal. So the illustration for that looks like this one. So this distance is 12 meters. So at a screen is placed in between them. Okay? So the problem is asking for the illumination at this point, at this point should be equal. Okay, so let's think the distance of 300 candle power lamp to the screen as x. So the distance now from the 500 candle power screen to the screen will now be 12 minus x. And since the illumination at this point and also this point are equal, so we can have this equation. The illumination of A sub B1 is equal to A sub B2. And since the angle between the incident light and normal to the plane is 0, so the cosine of 0 is 1, so the formula now becomes I sub 1 divided by X squared equal to I sub 2 divided by 12 minus X quantity squared. We are using the number 3, uh, the number 3, uh, scenario of illumination. So, by substituting the values given, so we have 300 divided by x squared equal to 500 divided by 12 minus x quantity squared. So, solving for x since we just have one unknown, so we have x equal to 5.24 feet. So, since we already have this value of x, we can uh, substitute this to our equation or for equation 1 or for equation, uh, this equation. So, by substituting the value, so we have 300 divided by 5.24 squared. So, our illumination at this point is equivalent to 10.92 foot candle. And this is equal to illumination at this point also. 10.92 foot candle. Okay. So, maybe that will be all for this video. And I hope to see you soon on my next video because we will be discussing about the point-by-point -point method and calculation for illumination. And we will now be considering a three-dimensional Plane. Okay, I hope you learned something of this video and uh, thank you for listening. Thank you for listening once again. God bless everyone and please stay safe always.